A lot of our procedures are done in office, many are done in the hospital setting, but we offer several modalities for pain management. Usually a patient will require multiple modalities in order to treat them. So we can try medications, we can try physical therapy, and we can try interventions. And some patients may need all of them, some patients may need one or two of those modalities. From a medication standpoint, people typically think pain management, opioids, narcotics, which isn't, isn't always the case. There are multiple uh, modalities we have in the medication category to help treat a patient's pain depending on the pathology that they have. From an interventional standpoint, sometimes medications are not enough to help the patient with their, with their pain, so we explore different interventions targeting the exact cause of their pain. So we will typically use an MRI, a CT, or some sort of advanced imaging in order to see where the pathology is in their spine, which is what we mostly see, but we also do joints. And uh, we go in right where it hurts and typically in inject it or do some sort of, if there's a fracture, we cement it. If there's a pinched nerve, we, uh, we inject it. Or if it's just back pain without a pinched nerve, arthritis, we can target those areas too using different techniques uh, procedurally, which are all minimally invasive. The most common we see is, is back pain. You know, we see back pain, neck pain, knee pain, um, all sorts of pain. We see a lot of people with migraines as well. So my, my advice to someone in pain is see someone, whether it's your PCP, whether it's another physician, or come see us and at least formulate a plan to, to tackle that, that pain. My favorite part of pain management is seeing the patient from the initial visit and watching them as they come back and we, we treat them to, to see how they're reaching their goals. Because when typically on a first visit, I talk to the patient, find out what's bothering them, what are their goals, what do they like to do, and see how the pain is hindering them. And then we formulate a plan with the patient to target the pain and then follow up on the subsequent visits and watch them hopefully get better over time.